All right guys, so you know that I love DHX Stomp. I mean, this little piece of gear can do so much and at a relatively small price tag. I say relative, it's like $599, but on the used market, you can get it much less. I bought mine over a year ago for 500 at my local guitar center and I've seen them go even cheaper than that in some groups on Facebook. And I just know when the HX Stomp XL comes out, there's probably gonna be a surge of used HX Stomps on the market. So now might be the time to be thinking about whether you want one of these for your worship ministry. Now I say worship ministry because this channel is called Hey Worship Leader. If you've never been here, my name is Jimmy Cooper. Thank you for watching the video today. It's my passion to help worship leaders be the best they can be. We talk about how to pastor your people well, how to lead your teams well, and we also talk about gear, which is why I talk about the HX Stomp so much because I know it has a lot to offer worship ministries. You can get tons of amazing worship guitar sounds out of this thing. I've dedicated a lot of this channel to that. You can go watch some videos after this if you haven't seen those. I've got playlists like how to dial in HX Stomp reverbs. I got videos on how to use snapshots and MIDI and the whole thing. Go check it out. I even have pre-made worship presets for those of you who don't have time to do all the knob turning and parameter adjusting that it takes. If you're interested in that, it's called the Expanse Pack because I'm always adding to it. You pay once, you get updates for life. If you're interested, I'll link it down below. You can go check that out. But today we're talking about something I've never talked about on this channel and that is playing two instruments through one HX stomp. Now, why would you wanna do this? Why is this important? Well, one thing I know about worship ministry is that sometimes expectations are high while budgets are low. And trust me, I know the struggle. And I also know churches are going for more of a direct solution. They don't wanna have the hassle of miking up amps backstage or having amps on the stage and always fighting with guitar players and production people having to turn it up and down. And it's often never a good situation. And that's one of the biggest reasons a lot of people go with a stomp. I mean, that's the boat I was in. I, I wanted to dip into to amp modeling, but I didn't want to jump all the way in, so I kept my amp, but honestly, when I bought this thing, I never played my amp again, and I ended up selling it because it was just sitting on the shelf for like over a year, I never played it. Anyways, I've talked a lot about it, you know I love it, but now I want to talk to you about how to play multiple instruments, two instruments through one stomp. And I was trying to think of different scenarios that might apply to you for why you would want to do this. I mean, you might have two guitar players, but only have the budget for one stomp, no problem. You might have a guitar player and a bass player where you want to effects like compression to bass and you want the guitar player to have reverb and delay, no problem. Or maybe you have one volunteer that needs to hold down two positions like play guitar and also play keys or bass and keys. You can also do that. You can even play an instrument and process your vocals through the preamp of the stomp that's pretty cool. And you can also use your stomp as an interface to record. If you're wanting to get into recording, this might be a good way to get into it. But before we can jump into this, there's a few things that we need to understand that we need to wrap our head around. First of all, the HX stomp has two completely separate parallel paths. They come mono in, they get processed in stereo, and they can be sent out in stereo, which is great. The second thing is, is that we have a split block that will tell us where our inputs need to go. And the third thing is we have a mixer block that tells our outputs where to go. Now, that might seem confusing right now, but once we wrap our head around these things, we can do whatever we want. So let me show you and walk you through three different routing options that you have, and then you can decide which is best for you for your situation. I'm gonna be able to show you exactly how to set them up, and I'm gonna be able to let you listen to the last two. The first one I can't do because the way I'm set up here. All right, so what I've done is I've actually used my little, um, actually my worship digital notebook planner uh, to write my notes in. If you are interested in that, I'll link that down below. But you probably can't see this, but I've drawn up some little diagrams. Maybe I can go ahead and put them on the screen. But we have three options to talk through. Option number one is having two separate stereo instruments. Now the way to do this, let me show you on HX Edit up here. I have my two instruments preset that we made here. I have, um, let's just put everything up on one block real quick. I have a single series path right here that is stereo. Now, I have another path, but it's not there. Let's drag this down to my next path. Now we have two paths that are also stereo. I'm gonna move this split block. That's our second thing we learned. We have the two stereo parallel paths. We have our second thing, which was our split block, which is right here, and our third thing, which is our mixer block. Move the split block all the way to the left, all the way to the front of the chain. That way, when you're two instruments come in, they immediately get split. Now that they're split, we have to do something. We have to, it's automatically gonna do a split Y here. And I think when you do it, it's actually gonna put them both center, but the first thing you need to do, and this is true of every option we talk about, so this is gonna be the same, I don't be confusing, but balance A needs to go all the way to the left, left 100, balance B needs to go to the right, right 100 all the way. So we're bringing two instruments in and we're separating them completely. 
The first instrument comes in, stays on that top path, the A path. The second instrument goes in and goes all the way to the B path. We've split our instruments, this is good. Let me take you off of here so I can show you exactly how I have things set up. But right now I have my guitar coming out. You can see it by this cable right here. My guitar is coming out and going into my board where it always does. Um, and it's going into input one on the back of the stomp. Then I have my Nord, where the Nord is, the Lord is. I have an instrument cable just coming out of the left mono over there and coming straight back into the right input in the back of the stomp. So there's my little diagram. I have my guitar coming into the left side. I have my keys coming into the right side. Now this option one is two separate stereo instruments. So what we're gonna end up doing is sending the guitar, the blue, both the left and the right in stereo out the front of the stomp out here. Our keys is gonna go into the stomp and come out the effects loop over here, the stereo send. And let me say you have to have a TRS-Y cable. And this is what I do right now anyways for my stereo effects loop. I come out of the stereo send with a single TRS cable and it gets split into a Y cable that goes into both sides of the jet revelation. And then from there, I'm stereo. What we want to do to make this a completely separate instrument is do this little trick here We drag the mixer block down to this send left right. Now what this does is it sends it out. It's a whole nother stereo output that you can send to front of house. So we now have two instruments, completely separate, completely stereo being sent to the front of house. That's awesome. And this is the only one I can't let you listen to right now because I don't have I don't have a way to let you, I don't have a way to capture the audio. But let me be just a little redundant here just to make sure we're on the same page. We have two instruments coming in here. We're hitting the split block. We're going all the way to the A for our guitar, all the way to the B, to the B for our keys. The guitar is hitting this compressor. It's hitting the amp. It's hitting delay. It's hitting this ambient reverb and a room reverb. Our keys, we don't want it to touch all that stuff, but I do want it to run through the effects loop because I'm running it through my um, jet revelation, which we're gonna hear in a bit. Sounds amazing. Don't go anywhere. It's also set up on this looper. I'm gonna make a pad. I'll show you how to do all that. And it's being sent out this stereo send with a split TRS Y cable going to the front of house into a direct box like any other instrument. Okay, I might've spent too much time on that. I didn't want this video to be too long. Just wanna make sure you understand. Now that you've seen that one, the next option is this, two separate mono instruments. Now, if you don't care if it's stereo, you don't have a stereo sound system, you don't have to worry about dragging this mixer block down. You don't have to worry about going out of your effects loop. If you're like me and you don't want to lose your effects loop because you have some pedals in there, this might be the option for you. So in this option, we have our guitar coming in here, our keys or bass or whatever, going in the left and right, just like I have it set up now. And they're going to come out dual mono left and right out the front of the stomp. This leaves our stereo effects loop intact. We can have anything we want in the stereo effects loop. And this is our split block. This is what we have to do. The split block remains the same. Balance A, left 100. Balance B, right 100. But this is where the mixer block is gonna be different than the last option, let me show you. So we're gonna make sure that we do not drag this mixer block down on a separate path. We want this to join the other path because we're gonna be going right out the front of the stop. So our split settings are the same. Balance A, left, balance B, right. And what we need to do here in the mixer block, now that it's back up on the main path, we need to take A all the way left 100 and B all the way right 100. Now in our headphones, and I'm gonna show you what it sounds like, we will have two completely separate instruments in mono on each side of our ears going to the front of house so they can have two different channels to mix on their own. Let's listen to it. All right, so we have our keys here and we should be hearing this coming out the right side of our ears. Oh yes. And let's crank the decay up on my reverb that is in the effects loop right over here. Hit our C chord again. Now that should go on forever. Now I can grab my guitar and play. And this should be on the left side. Now our third option is having two stereo instruments mixed together, like a single stereo sound, 
but having multiple instruments enter that stereo sound. Does that make sense? So what we're gonna do is have my guitar and the Nord going into the same channel so I can create a pad and play over it, but it just be one channel where front of house doesn't have to mix two different channels, it's mixed by you. So what we need to do is just make sure our split block is exactly the same, we split Y, balance A all the way to the left, balance B all the way to the right. Our mixer block is on the main path. Instead of panning A all the way to the left and panning B all the way to the right, we wanna make sure they are both center. And now what this gives us is the ability to create our own sound as if it's one instrument using multiple instruments. So I'm gonna make a pad with the looper and then I'm gonna play over it with my guitar and it's gonna sound amazing. Let's do it. We're going to record a silent loop first, like we do. We're gonna let that sit there for about 20 seconds or so. And then I'm going to fade in slowly the pad sound from the Nord going through the shimmer setting on the Jet Revelation. It's gonna sound glorious. Let's listen to it. So we have a silent loop playing. Let's push record. All right, what'd you think? Sound good? I think it sounds good. It sounds amazing, actually. Um, I got some more time on the camera. Let me show you real quick. What you can also do is take away uh, like a block here, put another block, and then you can make your own pad sound as good as you want. So let's put some modulation before this effects loop and see what we can do. Let's see what it sounds like. We'll turn back up our playback. Ooh, bring that pad back in. That's nice. It's fun. You can do whatever you want.
All right, I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it sparks some creativity so you can figure out how you would want to use two instruments through one stomp if you ever had to. Now you know you can. If you did like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. I've looked at my um, analytics and it shows like 70 or 80% of the viewers of this channel are not subscribed. So if that's you, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Also remember to hit the little bell so you can be notified when any new stuff is released. I got like two videos coming out a week right now, so you don't wanna miss anything. Thank you all who've been watching for a while now. Thank you for your support and your encouraging words. I love this community. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.